This video is another uh, description of what a rip current is. Rip currents are nicknamed drowning machines and it's because people fight these currents and they get they die of exhaustion and it's a sad thing that happens and it's very common on the beaches of North Carolina and all up and down the East Coast. This is what a rip current looks like. Um, typically what it is, it's a powerful current that moves away from the shore and they sweep even strong swimmers out to sea. Here's the important part though to always remember about a rip current. It will sweep you away from the beach and it will end. There's always an ending point and you can get out of it either way as long as you're swimming parallel to the beach. If you try to swim back to the way you came, you will not win. The current will win. You will get tired and eventually you can drown. So don't fight the current. Swim out of the current by swimming parallel to the shore. If you are completely exhausted, tread water See if it will float float out for you or until you get help. So what are you looking for? You're looking for, this is a, this is a, from uh, Noah. This is an awesome picture. See this muddy line of, of sand and the way this comes out of the front, away from the beach? That is a classic rip current. Um, they describe it as a plume of sediment that moves away from the shore. It's churning choppy water. It's definitely different in color. It, there can be a line of foam, seaweed, or debris that's moving seaward. And um, it, well, there's a break in the incoming wave pattern. And here's a good example, too. There's a wave here. There's a jetty here. There's a break here in the, in the wave pattern. That is a classic rip current. So why are rip currents so dangerous? Um, essentially what happens is people f fight the rip current. Um, they can't escape it. And then they die of exhaustion. So... Um, also remember, uh, rip currents are very common August and September when a lot of people are out enjoying the ocean towards the end of the summer. So, um, like I said, um, this is from Noah, and they even quote it says, even an Olympic swimmer uh, can't fight most rip currents. Um, they do. This is another important thing in this brochure that they talk about. Rip currents do not pull people under the water. They pull people away from shore. I can't tell you how important that is to remember. If you're trying to swim in the ocean, ever, even if you don't think you're in a rip current, typically rip currents are just pulling you out to sea. And when I say out to sea, all I mean is out to here, not out to China, just out to here. So swim parallel. They don't pull you down. What pulls you down are undertoes. They're, that, that is totally different. Um, undertoes do pull you down. Rip currents pull you out to sea. So um, they can move as fast as 8 feet per second, which is pretty fast, which is good because if you float and don't fight it, you'll be out to the end of it fairly quickly. So yet again, this is what we need to remember. Rip currents are extremely dangerous. They are very common up and down the East Coast, August and September. They will kill you from exhaustion. So swim parallel to the current. Don't fight the current. Try not to swim alone, float if you need to, and get out of it alive. I hope that helps. Everyone, swim safe, be safe, enjoy the beach, and know what a current looks like now after this video. Thanks for watching.